Today, we'll be taking a look at the best telescopes under $200 to buy this year. And as usual, in the description below, we have the links to all the telescopes mentioned in this video. If you think we missed out any item on our list, please let us know in the comment below. Be sure to subscribe for new content and drop a like below. Now, let us go straight to the video. Number 5. Mead Polaris 127 Mead is a well-regarded telescope manufacturer, and along with Celestron, they probably have the best instruments at the budget end of the spectrum. But when it comes to these cheaper telescopes, the instruments can deliver mediocre results in some cases. However, if you're looking for a good beginning telescope, the Polaris 127 can deliver acceptable results. The Polaris 127 moniker comes with a 127 millimeter aperture, which is paired with three different eyepieces. The sizes are 6.3 millimeters, 9 millimeters, and 26 millimeters. A Barlow 2X eyepiece is also included to double the magnification options. The eyepieces offer a decent level of detail for the price, but adding better quality versions would improve the clarity. However, if you get into purchasing expensive eyepieces, it's probably a better idea to simply buy a better telescope with improved eyepieces included in the package. Most modern budget telescopes use a very simple mount that isn't well suited to tracking moving objects with any kind of reasonable accuracy. The ELT azimuth mounts found in some budget telescopes are better, but they require some practice to get the best results. The Mead Polaris 127 has a stable German equatorial mount that's a surprising addition to this price point. This type of mount has slow motion control settings that allow the user to make smooth and steady tracking for celestial objects. Number 4. Toyer B Telescope for Kids and Beginners Toyer B Telescope is the best telescope for kids and beginners. It meets all the needs and demands of beginners, and the kids can begin their astronomical journey with this superb product. The product has a 3x Barlow lens and two eyepieces. One is an H 20 mm and the other is H 6 mm. These lenses give a magnification of 15 times and 150 times. This makes it easy for any new user to get a clear and understandable picture of a celestial body. The product has a large aperture. The 70 mm aperture with a 300 mm focal length provides more light and clearer images. Even new users can get a clear image from this telescope. This is due to the wide aperture of the telescope. The bigger the aperture, the bigger the field of vision, and hence, clearer the image. The telescope is a wireless product. The Toy B telescope set includes one smartphone adapter and one wireless camera remote to explore the nature of the world easily through the screen and take superb and amazing images. The product is easy to assemble and dismount. The product comes with a full set of paper and video installation guidelines. The users need not worry about any installation process. It is very easy and simple for beginners and kids to install the telescope without any tools and use it effectively. Number 3. Celestron 21061 Astromaster 90EQ the Celestron 21061 Astromaster is a good telescope in this price range with a pair of eyepieces that provide 45 times and 90 times magnification, respectively. This refractor telescope can be used for stellar and terrestrial observations. Many professionals dismiss refractor telescopes because they cannot capture the details that a reflector scope can. This is true, but in the under $200 price range, we need to make certain compromises. That being said, the Astromaster will allow the user to observe Mars and the outer rings of Jupiter at a reasonable level of detail. This makes the Astromaster a great choice for beginning astronomers and casual users. 
The AstroMaster is easy to set up and use when compared to a more complex compound telescope. Despite the slight lack of magnification, this is a good refractor telescope that weighs less than 52 pounds. This telescope is portable, it's easy to assemble and disassemble, and it can be stored virtually anywhere. This makes the AstroMaster an ideal choice for viewing trips. Simply place it in the trunk, drive to the viewing spot, and it takes around 10 minutes to set up. The user manual is a great resource, and this should be the first port of call for any users that has a problem. This telescope has an alt azimuth mount, which delivers better precision and movement to track objects. The handle of the mount has a panning handle with a clutch to make the movements extremely accurate. The built-in star pointer has a red dot reticle that helps the user to fix stellar objects, and this is a more precise system than the older red dot technology. The Celestron 21061 AstroMaster has a 2.6-inch lens with an aperture of 70 millimeters. So this telescope can easily capture many of the finer details that you would find on the surface of our moon. The images are crisp and detailed, and this is everything that you would expect and far more in a telescope at this kind of price. Number 2. Orion Star Blast This is a great wide-field telescope at a modest price point and it offers a four-degree field of view. To put this into some perspective, that's approximately eight full moons in your field of vision at the same time. This telescope was designed to compete with the now discontinued Edmund AstroScan, which was a well-liked, inexpensive telescope in its own right. The Orion Star Blast comes with a pair of cheap Kellner 6mm and 17mm eyepieces that will suffice for beginners. However, the 17mm eyepiece doesn't take full advantage of the capabilities of the Orion Star Blast, and users may want to purchase a 24mm or 32mm eyepiece when they want to upgrade. Orion Marketing advertises the Star Blast as a telescope designed primarily for wide field and low magnification use. But this telescope actually does a pretty good job at high magnification viewing tasks as well. The focuser for this scope is made of cheap plastic, which is fairly standard on cheaper telescopes, but it can be annoying. The 6mm eyepiece only has 76 times magnification, it has no eye guard, and it has a very narrow field of view. An upgrade to a 6mm or 15mm gold line and perhaps a 32mm Plossy and a Barlow eyepiece would improve the viewing experience a great deal. However, these extra eyepieces will cost more money and the added price could be spent on a better telescope instead. The Orion Star Blast has a red dot finder that gets the job done due to the wide field of view. But there is a caveat. The simple design means that you cannot attach a DSLR camera and take footage or pictures. So, if you're really interested in astrophotography, the Star Blast is not suitable for your needs. This is a reflector telescope that is best suited for deep sky viewing, and the focal length of 450 millimeters provides optical power that is unprecedented at this price point. Adding a UHC filter or an Oxygen 3 will allow the user to view dark nebulae crossing the Milky Way and the Val Nebula. Searching for these objects is challenging, but a great deal of fun. And this is where the Wide Field Telescope really comes in handy. If the user adds one of the aforementioned better eyepieces, they can see the great red spot on Jupiter and the phases of Venus with no problems. Number 1. G-Skyer AZ70400 The G-Skyer Refractor Telescope has a short focal length of 70 millimeters, and it's mounted on a camera-style tripod. The telescope package includes a telescope, 
a finder scope, a pair of eyepieces, a 3X Barlow lens, a 45 degrees diagonal, and a handy carry case. This is a cheaper telescope package that's squarely aimed at teens and beginners. An assembly sheet with a pictorial tutorial shows how to put the telescope together, but there's no printed user guide or manual included. Like many budget telescopes, this instrument is made in China, and even a check of the company website reveals no further information on how to use the product. Despite the target demographic, it seems that G. Skyer is assuming that the buyer will already know how to use a telescope correctly. This lack of support should be considered carefully. The telescope may be cheap, but if you have to buy a separate guide on using the instrument, this will bump up the price. The telescope has a hand 45 degree diagonal, which comes in handy if you want to use this instrument as a daytime spotting scope. Another useful application is viewing objects in the night sky that are under 30 degree above the horizon. But viewing objects above 40 degrees is problematic, and the user may have to kneel on the ground to get their eye onto the eyepiece. The best viewing range is 30 degrees to 90 degrees above the horizon. So, in the vast majority of viewing situations, the eyepiece will not be in a good position for effective viewing. The very best area to view at night is straight up, or the zenith, where the thinner atmosphere creates less distortion and the viewing experience is far clearer. Adding a 90-degree diagonal to this telescope would help in this respect, but obviously that would add to the overall price. The Kellner-style eyepieces lack eye cups to back out ambient light pollution, and the user may need to place a hood or a cover over their head when viewing. The included eyepieces are 17x and 40x magnification, but the Barlow 3x combined with these means the real magnification available is 48x and 120x. This is the realistic limit of a refractor telescope with a short 70mm focal length. The camera-style tripod will support the weight of the telescope, but it feels a little flimsy and there isn't much control. And a bonus option, Celestron PowerSeeker 127. This telescope is the best option for beginners. The Celestron PowerSeeker 127EQ is an easy-to-use and powerful telescope. The PowerSeeker series of telescopes is designed to give the first-time telescope user the perfect combination of quality, power, value, and features. It is an ideal telescope to begin with astronomy. It is simple to use and understand. Beginners will find it convenient to handle and easy to use. The telescope comes with a manual German equatorial mount. The user can negotiate the sky with the new Newtonian reflector telescope. It features a German equatorial mount with a slow motion altitude rod for a smooth and accurate pointing. The user can adjust the rod to the desired position and then easily secure the tightening of the cross knob. It gives a perfect pointing and forms a good picture before the eyes. The product is accompanied by multiple useful accessories. The Celestron PowerSeeker 127EQ telescope comes with two eyepieces. One is 20 millimeters and the other is 4 millimeters. Additionally, each eyepiece comes with a 3x Barlow lens to triple the power of each eyepiece. These lenses enhance the power of the telescope and provide a clear and better picture. The users can also download the bonus Starry Night Astronomy software package for better experience. The product is surely of value for money. The Celestron PowerSeeker 127EQ telescope is one of the best affordable telescopes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button below.